Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited about this video today because we're going to be doing a full unboxing video of another amazing natural image wig. Now, I'm really excited about this. It does include paid promotion because natural image wigs contacted me and I was so excited because I love natural image wigs. I'm wearing one right now. And they contacted me and said, Liz, we love your channel. We'd love to send you a wig and for you to review it for us. So that's what I'm doing. Now, I've had people reaching out to me over the last few months, offering me wigs for free and asking me to do reviews. And I've declined. I've said no, because this channel, it isn't about that. You know, I'm enjoying buying my own wigs and sharing with you guys the wigs that I love. But I said yes to natural image wigs because I already wear their wigs and I love them. And I was excited to see what they could offer me. So they've sent me this wig. This is the new, well, I don't think it's new, but this may be a new colour. It's a new one for me because I haven't worn this one before. And this wig is called April and it's in an amazing colour. I haven't even looked at it properly yet because it literally came yesterday. I've unboxed it and, and got it out and I just had a little sneak peek, but I can't really see. But the colour is in light chocolate candy blonde i think but i'm going to check when i open it all up and have a look but natural image wigs thank you so much for sending me this wig so they've sent me this wig so i haven't had to buy this wig but obviously they're not paying me to review this video they've just sent me the wig so i will review this wig even if they were paying me to review the wig i would still give you my honest opinion and i'm excited because i know it's a pixie style but I'm not sure what it's going to be like, whether it's a bit like Pam from Noriko or Sheila from Good Iris Secret Wigs or any of the other ones I've got. We'll see, but I'm excited. So this is all about April. Now, I just want to show you the amazing wig I've got on today because I've been binge wearing this wig. I've been binge wearing this wig for about a week now. You know, I've reviewed this wig before. Every other wig on this channel that I've reviewed, I've bought myself including embrace this is the gorgeous embrace wig which is another natural image wig and this color is rich chestnut glow so ladies for those of you who love reds you know this is a gorgeous little bop and the more i'm wearing this the more i'm enjoying wearing it it's just stunning it really is and i just had to trim a tiny little bit off the bang i have done a full review video already on this wig and i've also got embrace in another color as well so you can check it out but if I turn around and show you from the side and from the back, look at that movement and this here. And I've been out in this wig today as well. And, you know, I just love it. I just love it. I actually went to the dentist in that in this the other day and the, the lady at the reception said, I love your hair. And I said, it's a wig. And she was like, you know, and she was a new receptionist. And I actually saw one of the old receptionists and she was like, oh, you, you, you've got a little bob today. So it's amazing that you can just change your style in an instant. And I'm really excited to see what this new wig is all about. So April, let's have a look together. So when you get a wig from Natural Image Wigs, and I will put a link in the description box below, so you can go and have a look at this wig. And I'll put the link in for the website I use. So when I buy anything from Natural Image Wigs, I buy from them directly. But I know you can get Natural Image Wigs from pretty much anywhere right now. And, you know, I'm really glad that I can get them in the UK. You know, so I'm not sure how much April is. I'll have a look after and we'll see how much she is to buy. Because obviously I bought this, um, I got this for free because they've sent this to me. just want to get that over to you guys. Embrace um, that I'm wearing cost me, I think this one was £128. Which is the same price that I paid for Elusive and Audacious. Which are another two amazing wigs. And one of our wig sisters actually won the giveaway and won Audacious. And I'm real fangirling over audacious wigs. So I've got a lot to say about natural image wigs. The service on the website, whenever I order anything, it shows you if it's in stock or not, which I love. Because there's nothing worse than getting an email saying, oh, it's back orders, you're not going to have it for a month or two months. On the website I use for natural image wigs, it shows you if it's in stock. And if it isn't in stock, they back order it for you. And it's usually within 14 days. So I've always had very quick service from natural image wigs. And I've said this before. It's not something I'm saying because they've sent me a wig. I always get amazing service. You know, whenever I've had an email, it's gone into the spam file. But all you have to do is click and say it's safe. And then anything else you get from them goes into your priority inbox. So now whenever I order anything from them, I get something going into my priority inbox and it says, yep, the wig's there and it's coming. 
So, and I never have any fear about the wig not turning up or anything like that because they're trusted. And this is one of the first wig companies, natural brands, natural image wigs, that I ever got introduced to high end because, and I've told you this story before, you know, when I first decided to become a wig wearer, when I first started my journey really with perimenopause, when I thought, I don't want to colour my hair anymore. And I started just looking on the internet at wigs on Amazon and I ordered an Amazon wig. And then obviously I was introduced to Godiva Secret Wigs through YouTube and bought a lot of Godiva Secret Wigs. And I've been loving Godiva Secret Wigs. But I was in London in Selfridges and they've got a little hot air stand in there. It's like a big department store. They sell shoes and clothes and makeup and all kinds of stuff that you can think of, even gadgets and computers. But right at the back on one of the floors, they've got a little hot air stand. And in there, they got all kinds of wigs. They got Raka Welsh wigs. They got natural image wigs and other wigs. And at the beginning of my wig journey, I didn't know natural image brands. I didn't even really know what Raka Welsh wigs were like. And I bought my first ever natural image wigs from there. I bought an elusive wig in chocolate copper mist, an audacious wig in chocolate copper mist. And I tried both of them and loved them. And then I got audacious in the pecan mist. And then... I got elusive in pretty much every single colour it comes in because I just love it and I intend to get more audacious because I love that. I want it in creamy blonde, I want it in a red and obviously other wigs like Glow Getter, Fantasy. My boyfriend bought me Fantasy um, a wig in a gorgeous rich chestnut um, glow, this colour. I've got um, Josephine wig. I'm trying, they've got that many natural image wigs. You know, I've got some more coming as well. I've got Tees coming and a few others, and, you know, Embrace, I just love it, and, you know, I haven't been wearing Embrace a lot since I bought it, but this last week I've been binge wearing it, because of the season and the colour, and I just thought, I just fancy wearing a nice short bob one day, and rather than going to Nico from Rennie of Paris, I got Embrace out, and I've been kind of wearing it ever since, so I kind of have a little phase on wigs, and then I'll go on to another one. But I think that out of this one, because I've been wearing it so much, and the Nico wig from René of Paris, as much as I love Nico, and I love it in Melted Marshmallow especially, but I think I actually prefer Embrace for the way it feels and the, the style of the bob. Obviously, Nico is a lot more, it's got more length to it, especially around the back. But I love how sleek it is. It reminds me of this wig a little bit of Tory from René of Paris as well, or is it from Nico? But I have got that one coming as well on a review soon but i'm just loving this wig as well so i'm really fangirling over embrace right now before i even open april I bet you're thinking let's get to april come on so let's have a look so as i said all the the link for april and obviously if you go to the link you'll be able to look at embrace and all the other wigs as well but at the end of the video i will go on to my phone and see how much april is to buy because i think this is another budget friendly one so when you get your wig from Natural Image, it comes in a box like this one. Some of the other box of boxes are bigger. You know, my Josephine wig, for example, come in a much bigger box. And you can go and watch all the reviews for all my other Natural Image wigs that I've bought myself on the channel in the wig review playlist. So this is how it cut. Okay, this is how it cut. Now, I've just realised I need my scissors to cut the tag off. But we're going to have a look. But the tag, it says April average. So this is an average cap. I do think that they as well do do, um, they may do petite in this one or large, I'm not sure, we'll have a look together. But this is April in an average and this is light chocolate candy blonde. Now I'm really excited about this colour because I didn't even know this colour existed because Natural Image contacted me and said, Liz, we love your channel, we'd love to send you a wig for free for you to review. Here's the catalogue, have a look and let us know what you think. Well, Elusive was on there and Tease was on there. Well, I've already got Elusive and everything. I've already got teas that I'm going to be sharing soon with you guys as well. And I just thought, do you know what? It'd be really nice to try a short pixie style from Natural Image because I've got long ones like Josephine and Fantasy and Glow Getter. And I've got medium styles like this one, Embrace. And obviously I've got the gorgeous Audacious, the amazing Curly Elusive. And I thought it'd just be really nice to have something short and a bit different. So I saw April and I noticed that it was average because a lot of their wigs as well come in a petite. So if you've got a, a small head, I mean, I'm a 21 inch head and I fit both petite and average. I always struggle with larger wigs. That's why I have to cut the wig, the ear tabs out of Amazon wigs. And I had that nightmare with that dare to be Raka Welsh wig. 
But every other rack I Welsh wig or, you know, any other brands I've got and I, I've got coming soon to the channel, <coughs> fit me perfectly. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, that got blocking my throat chakra there. You know, they fit me perfectly. So I thought, wow, you know, an average one, this is a short pixie cut. I'm excited because I have been enjoying wearing more shorter styles. I love wearing Sheila from Godiva Secret Wigs. It's one of my favourite ones. And next year, you know, or even moving forward, I intend to get Sheila in every single colour. I really want it in Midnight Pool because that's kind of a bit like the colour that my own natural hair is becoming now. When I take Embrace off, you'll see my own natural hair. I really want to get that. And I absolutely love wearing audacious you know i love my other little kind of pixie type cuts i love freedom wig all those wigs <clears throat> sorry i'm just cough there so i'm loving you know all of these other little short wigs and i can't wait to try this one so let's get her out of the box then so you can see i haven't even unboxed it yet i haven't even what i am going to do though is grab my scissors because i want to be able to cut the tag off this so if you're after an average size wig little short pixie cut let's have a look at april so this is how she comes you can see she's box lovely so she's packaged really well you know so she's not gonna mess up when she's on the way to you i love that i love the box i will be transferring this into a bag at some point for storage purposes but this is how she comes this color looks really nice like i haven't seen this color well, yeah, so I'm, I, that was what I was going to tell you. So I messaged them back and I said, I'd love to try maybe April or I mentioned a couple of others. And I said, you decide and maybe a chocolate colour or and, you know, in thinking they'd send me like a dark chocolate or a chocolate copper mist. But this colour and I'm really glad because I've never seen this colour before. And this colour is and we'll have a look on the website to just make sure it's definitely what I'm saying it is. But it's like chocolate candy blonde that's what it says there you can see light chocolate candy blonde light chocolate it's light choc candy blonde so it's got to be that it's got to be that so i'm excited to see what this is like so you get all your packaging in this wig and it comes with a net on to keep it safe when it's traveling to you so it doesn't get messed up so look at this i'm excited let's just turn it inside out and i'm gonna cut out the label so obviously you get your label like this so i will have to write on what this is if i'm cutting the label out so i don't forget what it is now i will be sewing wig clips into this wig and i might even do that at the end of this video so that we can get aware ready because i'm excited so you know one wig clip would probably be enough in this but i'm going to sew two in just for added security and you can see so she's got a basic cap there is some machine teasing there, but on these shorter wigs, they give you a bit of volume. You need that, you know, and it's got lots of breathable wefting at the back. It feels nice when I'm picking up. It's very light, which I love about these little pixie cuts as well. And you've got the Velcro style adjusters to make the wig tighter or looser to suit your own hat, which is great. So, you know, if you're on the larger side, you can, you know, kind of take them out more. If you, you've got like a smaller head circumference, you can just pull them in. So they're really good for that as well. And, you know, the thing I love about natural image wigs, and I've said this so many times, where the front is, it just feels like velvet. It's so comfortable to wear. So natural image wigs, if you're watching this, your wigs really do top all the wig companies for this. You know, I've always noticed it on all the wigs. How nice it is. And obviously I sew wig clips into there. So I kind of take it off a little bit. But I love that feel. You know, it feels like velvet. It's very nice to wear. So it's very comfortable. So I know this will be comfortable for anyone going through hair loss. So it will feel nice on the hat. Now, when I first put her on, we're going to put her on without anything. Then I'm going to put her on with my wig grip band. And then I'm going to have a look at prices and stuff. And then I'm going to sew the wig clips in. Because I know not all of you are going to want to watch that. But we're going to get it ready to wear. Because obviously for me to wear this out and about, which I will, I'm going to be sewing wig clips in. Because I sew wig clips into all of my wigs to wear them. Because, you know, I used to wear them with a wig grip band. I've got wig grip bands here. And they are brilliant. But I much prefer, because I've got my own hair, to clip wig clips in. And it doesn't affect my hair. It doesn't irritate my hair. You know, it, it, it's fine. So let's have a look at the colour. So obviously I'm going to shake this out and get it ready to wear. 
but you can see she's this gorgeous colour. I mean, like I said, I didn't even know this colour existed and I'm so happy because I've wanted a short pixie cut in a blonde and I haven't really got one apart from Pam from Noriko in Strawberry Swirl. So I'm really grateful that I've got this one. So I'm really grateful to Natural Image Wigs for finding my channel in the first place and seeing me as worthy of sending me a wig. You know, not like I say, I have had other people emailing me asking me if they can send me a wig, but not like a respected brand like Natural Image that I really respect and buy from. It's like Renny Paris messaging me or Noriko or, even, you know, Godiva's as well. You know, they are the brands that I, I love to wear. And, you know, I'm not a wig reviewer in my eyes. You might see me as that, you know, but I'm your wig sister. I'm a friend to you, soul sister, and I'm just a daily wig wearer. So I want to make sure I'm talking about the right things on the channel when I'm talking about my own wigs. And I'll tell you the truth. You know, I'll tell you the truth because if something isn't looking good or feeling right, I'll tell you like Dare to Be, Raquel Welsh, you know. So that just didn't work for me. Maybe I just got a dodgy one, you know. So I'm loving this. So as you can see, and what I love about it as well is, even though it looks like it's one colour, it looks like it's it's dark through it here. So it, it looks like it's got a root, but I don't think it has got a root. Okay, but it looks like that to me. And some of the wigs I have look like that to me. So it's just how they are. But I'm really liking it straight away. Okay, I'm really liking it. Now it is shedding a little bit, but that's because I need to shake it out because obviously it's brand new. So that's what I'm going to do, okay? So it is shedding a little bit, but that with one of these shorter wigs, it's pretty natural. It happens with my Paula Young wigs. I mean, obviously I don't buy many Paula Young wigs, as you know. I got a lot of Paula Young wigs um, in the summertime in the clearance section when I was actually buying from Natural Image Wigs. So I'd buy a wig from Natural Image Wigs and then I'd see, I'd go to the clearance section and think, oh, I'm going to grab a Paula Young Layla. Or I'm going to get a Paul Young, whatever I got. I know I've got Avery and I've got a couple of other ones. But I don't really wear them. Okay, I've worn them occasionally. But, you know, I haven't really been out in any of my Paul Youngs. Because I've got so many other beautiful wigs. And, you know, I'm excited for this. So, let's get her on then. So, you can see there just a little bit of hair coming off. But, again, like I say, don't worry about that. Because that's normal. Especially when you get a short wig. If you're finding that, just give it a good shake. So let's get her on then, I'm excited. So, and obviously it's going to show up more with me having a blue cloth on today. Now, as I said, normally before doing a review, I would sew wig clips in. But I wanted this to be from the box to the hat because I'm as excited as you are to see what this is. So again, like I say, the wig I'm wearing, which I know you'll all love because it's gorgeous. How could you not love this one? And you can obviously, you know, push the bang over and wear it like that. Or And I sometimes wear it even like this you know because when you've got your own bang it's not always going to be perfect you know you wear it any way you want and in embrace i've just sewn in two wig clips i'm going to take her off and reveal my own natural hair which is a bit of a mess today because i need to wash it and i'm just going to put her inside out just so i don't mess her up and we're going to put this one on now i'm recording this in real time when you've seen some of my videos lately it's when my hair was shorter because obviously with me having my other channel guided by angels and that's where I am a lot of the time, I have to schedule a lot of videos here. So I've recorded already a lot of videos that you're going to be seeing as we move into the new year. So you'll see my hair is longer now than it was then. And actually next month I've found on my phone um, a video of my hair when it was much shorter and I did a little video about it and didn't know. So I'm going to actually post that. And then I've done another video where I've showed you my hair as it is now. And done the comparison with them. So you can see my hair growth. So where we are right now, you know, it's a year on since I've had my hair cut. And it's grown back. And I had it real pixie short. And you can see now it's growing back. And it's actually now getting so that I can put it into a low ponytail. And as I say, you know, it's looking that salt and pepper colour. It's actually in the best condition of its life, but it is ready for a little wash. So I'm just going to put all my hair back into a little bo um, bobble. And it's so nice now that it's getting so that I haven't got to put two bobbles in as well. So I know that this wig is going to look amazing and the, with it, you know, my hair being much better than last time, perhaps I put a pixie on. So 
Last game of thumbs at the back where the label is. I'm going to put the front of the wig about there and I'm going to put my head into the wig. Then I'm going to align the ear tabs and get them straight and then pull the wig up to my natural hairline. And obviously with this not being a rooted blonde, I just need to make sure I get it on properly. And don't worry what it looks like when you first put it on because we style them. We style them. I've got my water spray. I'm going to style them. I'm expecting this to be a little bit like Sheila wig. Or oh, a little bit like um, Pam from Noriko. And if I like this one, which I probably will, I can already tell I'm liking it already, I'm going to get it in a different colour. So I haven't pulled it up to my hairline. First of all, I'm really liking the style because it's reminding me of Sheila Wig from Good Iver Secret Wigs. So I'm going to lift it up. Now, I quite like it like that, to be honest. So let's get her up to my hairline. Obviously, you need to lift it up or it's not going to look natural. Wow, it looks like Sheila wig. Oh, wow. Let me just see. Yeah, so it definitely needs a wig clip in, obviously, you know, but I'm going to, I don't really need to put a wig grip band on, I don't think, with this either. I mean, I can do just to show you how I do it, but, you know, I just need to get her in right and bring her down a little bit. Now, I did kind of say to them, you know, it would have been better for me maybe to have a darker colour because, you know, I can see my bioware a little bit there. But again, you know, you've just got to take your time playing with the wig to get it right. You know, and I would, before I go out in a wig, especially a little short wig like this, I would just spend time in the mirror. You know, I've got a mirror on the landing with my, you know, I'd check the back first of all, make sure all my hair's tucked in the back. And then I would spend some time making sure it's all where it needs to be, you know. But what I'm liking about this, I'm definitely seeing some kind of root in here, okay? I'm seeing that on me. I mean, when I'm looking at the wig off my head, it does not look like it's got a root, but it feels that way, which is actually really good because that creates the illusion of it being your own natural hair. Now, let's have a look together before we do anything with this wig. So again, there, you know, it looks very, very natural. You know, just make sure you move it over your bio hair like that. But it fits me, the, the way it feels, it's very nice to wear. It's an average cap and it, you can tell it feels nice. You know, it feels light on my head. I can hardly tell I've got anything on my head. And I really like the colour. So this is light chocolate candy blonde. I think the BLD stands for blonde, I think. It could stand for something else. We'll have a look. But I really do like the colour. I'm really seeing a root there, guys. I don't know if you are. Okay, and I'm pretty sure there isn't a root on it, but it feels like there is for me. You let me know in the comments what you think. Now, the thing I love about these little pixie styles is you can have a bang in it. You know, maybe you're just thinking, oh, I just want a bang today. So you can just wear it with a bang like this. And I'm pretty sure this is how they wear it on the model because I've had a look and, you know, they've got it like this. Or the thing that I like is you can pull it up. Now, what I'm going to do with this wig is just spray a little bit of water on. So before I do anything to it, let, let me do a turn. So look at this. And I know that this is going to look so much better than the last time I reviewed a pixie because all my hair now is able to go into this wig without me having to use two bands and little bits of hair sticking out everywhere. So I really am liking it. And I personally, I think that I prefer it more than the Pam wig by Noriko. I have to be honest but not as much as Sheila Wig from Good Iverson Wigs. But it's very, very similar. Very similar. I do like it. So I can definitely see me buying this wig in other colours, especially if they've got it in a red or chocolate copper mist, which is one of my favourite colours that they do. So what I'm going to do is spray some water on. And this kind of punks it up a little bit. Now, I've got to remember that I haven't got um, anything secure in this wig because I'm playing with it, it'll start lifting up and up and up, and that's why I really need to put some kind of security on, like the wig grip band. But look at that, just made it more PC bigger, so you can wear it as big as you want to. So if you're a lady who loves a lot of volume, you're going to love April, because she can boof her up, but she's very sleek at the back, which is very nice. So I really do like that, that you can boof it up. Look at that, amazing. Really pretty wig. Why haven't I ever seen April before? I don't think it's a new one. Oh, that looks really nice. I like it with all this punk. Really pretty. Really pretty. I just feel that what I'll need to do is make sure my bioware is, is really in this wig when I wear it because of the colour. 
Obviously, if this was a different colour, if it was like a brown or a red, he wouldn't you wouldn't see that as much. I mean, you can't really see it anyway. Just needs to come over a little bit. But I really love how much volume there is here. And that's just pumping up with a little bit of water. But for me, you know, I like to wear them sometimes a little bit like that. You know, so if I have a look in the mirror, yeah, that looks to me better on me, you know, in my opinion, with it up a little bit than maybe with a full bang. But you've got the option to have it both ways. It looks nice both ways. It's really pretty. We just lift it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take her off and I'm just going to put her on with a wig grip first of all. So this is my wig grip that I got from Godira Secret Wigs. And if you get one of these, they're really good. So you just get it with the label kind of facing that way. Do you know, I haven't worn one of these for so long. I've even forgot how you put them on. Because obviously I'm saying wig clips it. So let me just get my hair prepped again. I want to make sure I get all my hair in this wig. It'll probably look as well when I've got wig grip bands in. Let me put it on right, Liz. I forgot how to put my wig grip band on. How crazy is that? There we go. So I'm lifting it up to my hairline. And, you know, when you put on your wig grip, it secures it on. Now, they are really good wig grip bands are, but, you know, they do secure it on so tight that you can feel it all the way around your head. So let's put her on again. And I, I know a lot of you guys wear wig grips and caps and, you know, you, you like to secure your wigs in that way. But for me, you know, it's just a personal thing. I like to sew wig clips in. So first of all, straight away with the wig grip, it feels better because it's on, you know, I know it's on safe and I know it's not going to go anywhere. So I can mess around with this wig a lot more now than I could before because when you're messing around with your wig, Obviously, before you secure it, you know, it's moving up and up and up. So I'm just going to get my little comb here and just give it a little bit of a play with. And, you know, you just play with it as much as you want and get as much volume in it as you want. So I know they don't wear it like this on the demo picture. And that's the thing, you know, if you get a wig and you think, I don't want to wear it the way that the model wears it, then you don't have to. You know, because the model wears it, I've seen it, it's like this. You know, it's all around the face. And that's okay for some people, but not for me. You know, I prefer to punk it up a little bit and wear it like this. Gorgeous. She's really pretty. I really like it. So natural image wigs, this is a real good wig. I was going to say it's a winner wig. You know, I actually think I prefer this wig than Winner by Raquel Welsh. I've got Winner by Raquel Welsh as well that's coming to the channel soon. So keep an eye out for that one. But I really do like it. So I think I prefer it more than Pam from Noriko. But I prefer Good Iris Secret Wig Sheila. And I have to be honest there, you know. But this is definitely a great one. And the thing is, this is really affordable. From what I've seen, I'm pretty sure it's the same price as Elusive and Audacious. Which is about £128. And, you know, it's a really good wig. You know, really nice. You know, it's just a shame it's, it's not a different colour. Because, you know, with my bio hair. But again, I am seeing like a little root. Like it does look a bit rooty to me. It may just be the camera. Let me have a look. No, it does look like it's got a little bit of a root. Which again, like I say, creates the illusion of it being like my hair. So I will be able to pull it off. But I do think another colour would have suited me much better. Okay. So let's have a look then. Let's have a look first of all for April. So I'm going to show you the website that I go on. And this will be where I'm linking it. So if I go on natural image wigs, it's right at the top of my... Um, I just had to click on it. I didn't even have to type it because I'm on it all the time. So if I click on... If you see a natural... I don't know if you can see in the light there. Natural image wigs. I just click on there. And it brings it up. My internet is always a bit slow when I'm on camera, so bear with me. So this is the website that I use, Natural Image Wigs. So I'm going to type in April, April Wig. There she is. So we've got April Wig. We've got April Wig, which is £129. We've got April Deluxe Wig, which is £175. And that's it. These are both an average. And then they've got April Deluxe in Petite and April Wig, the standard one in Petite. So they haven't got it in large. They've got it in Petite and Average. So if you're on the smaller side, you can get a Petite cap. If you're on the large, the larger side, you know, kind of Average. And this one fits me lovely. And as I said, I'm a 21-inch head. And for me, I much prefer to have Comfort 
than anything else. So I would always go for an average cap over a petite cap. Obviously, I had to with the fantasy because my boyfriend bought it for me and it was a petite cap and I was thinking, oh, I hope it fits me, but it does fit me. And some of the Alan Villa wigs, like Movie Star, is quite a small fit as well. I don't think it's petite, I think it's average, but it's quite a small fit. And obviously the Noriko wigs and the um, Godiva Secret wigs do fit a bit more on the snug side as well. And I don't mind that, so this feels nice to me. It feels nice. And all the natural image wigs I've got feel nice. You know, they're all designed beautifully. And I feel that natural image wigs are very affordable for a reason. You know, I feel that they really do cater towards, you know, women who may be struggling with hair loss or may be wearing wigs for other things, you know, than just style, you know, for convenience. This is for something you want a wig that looks like your own hair or you want a wig that you can wear daily. So they do them affordable at affordable prices. So you can buy one, two or three and rotate them and not break the bank. You know, like you have to really save up sometimes for a Raka Welsh wig, you know, because of the prices of them. So I like that about natural image wigs. I like that they do the really high end wigs like Glow Getter. It's like £300 and it's gorgeous. It's got lace front. It's got everything you want. But I'm actually much preferring the little short ones like Audacious. I love Audacious wig. It's my favourite wig this year. And Elusive. And, you know, it's nice to have an April in my collection. So thank you, Natural Image Wigs. So April wig is £129. And this will be the basic one I've got here. The average size, just basic cap. So if we click on this one and bring her up and we can see what colours they do it in. So it comes up straight away. This is how it comes up on their website. And as I said, if I scroll down, you select your colour option. I know you can't see very well, but you select your colour option. And then it go, if you go down, it tells you if it's in stock or not here before you buy, which I really like. So I'll see what colours they've got. So they've got this in Puta Glow, Onyx Glow, Vanilla Lush, Harvey's Gold, Glazed Mocha, Silver Mist, Paprika Root. Paprika Root. Straight away, that's a red, so I'm like, ping. Um, I bet that's a bit like Irish Spice and get Irish Secret Wicks. Ginger Brown, obviously I'm a Ginger Brown fan, because my hair used to be that colour. And I've got Sheila from Godira Secret Wigs, which is another short one I'm talking about. I've got Sheila in Ginger Brown and in Irish Spice. They've got Light Ash Brown with Grey, Cappuccino, Butterscotch, Soft Copper, well, that's nice, Chocolate Copper, Spice, Light Chocolate Candy Blonde. Like This is the one I'm wearing. This is Light Chocolate Candy Blonde. And it says LCCB, which is Light Chocolate Candy Blonde. So I'm glad that they've sent me this in this colour because this is not a colour I would normally buy. Now, to me, I'm seeing a root there. I'm seeing a root there. I know there isn't a root there, natural image, but I'm seeing a root. Okay, that's how I'm seeing it. And that's good because it means it's I can get away with the wig. You know, it's like when I wear my strawberry swirl palm wig by Noriko. I just have to make sure my hair's in because I have, obviously I've got bio hair underneath that you can see. So when I'm looking at it, I'm just interested to see what that spice colour is. So obviously if you click on the colour, then it shows you the colour. So that's spice. Yeah, that sounds quite nice as well. But I'm really drawn to the paprika. So let me just, yeah, I was, I was looking at the colours then thinking, is that the paprika in it is? So I think what I'll probably do is buy myself a paprika root and then I can show you the difference because I am really grateful because I didn't even know this wig existed if I hadn't looked through the little catalogue they sent me online. There was about seven or eight wigs I could have chose from. And obviously Elusive was already on there and I've already got that one. And I didn't want to review that again anyway, because I've already done it. And, you know, it's here. I wanted to bring something new to you guys and to me. And they suggested April. There was like this one. There was another one. I think it was called Wondrous, which is it's a longer one. So it's, again, nice for me to have a little short style from Natural Image. And I really fancy that paprika root. Let me just see if it's in stock. It's in stock as well. Mmm. I'm tempted to get that, you know, because I can order that whenever. And... You know, it's, it'll come really quickly. So this is a, this is the thing I love. Like it says it's in stock there. I don't know if you can see. So I'm sorry that you can't really see it very well on camera. But for example, if I click on one, yeah, that this one I've just clicked on, which is Silver Mist. It says, item is currently out of stock. If you place the order, it would be put on back order for you. So, and they really do 
bring them as soon as they can you know i've done that before i've ordered and i've just not worried about it and then it's turned up when it's turned up so i might get it in this especially because it's in stock i'm like oh because it'd be a nice one to wear not just at this time of the year now with the fall but going into december january it's always nice isn't it to have a little short red wig and you know i know i'm going to be wearing sheila but i like this style as well it's just a shame i mean you can see it there but again it's because i've got a wig grip band on so that's what you do you can pay you pay for your wigs through paypal or card or whatever you want to and you know that's the website there so this is april wig by natural image and this is in can in light chocolate candy bond okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just do another little turn for you guys ignore what's going on with my sideburns because you know just imagine i've sorted that out if i'm going out well you can see the gorgeous style we're going to sew wig clips it so i'm going to show you how i prepare this wig to wear okay how do i and when you get as i said you get your little bits and pieces so they send you this with it this is a care guide and this comes out with every wig and you know they also use innovation products i don't know if these are natural image products or not but i've got these because i got these from selfridges in london so i use Cinovation and i use belmadam i like Cinovation. it smells like when you wash your clothes and you put them out to dry and it's all fresh that's how they smell belmadam is a bit more of a fruity smell that's why i like it but i like them both and if i need to give my wig a good scrub i use Cinovation. So they send you a care guide that tells you how to look after your wig. And then you get your invoice. Obviously, they've sent me an invoice, but I didn't buy this. You know, they were very good and sent this to me. And, you know, to be honest, I was kind of like, really? And I know that it happens to other wig reviewers all the time. But, you know, I don't see myself as a wig reviewer. I just see myself as a wig wearer. So I feel really lucky and blessed that they kind of found me and, and suggested they send me one. So it has shed a little bit, but now it's on that stopped, okay? And that's normal and natural. Sorry if that hurt your, your ears then. So let me just um, get rid of all of this. I'm going to keep the label so I know what it is. And I'm going to get my cotton and needle. And we're going to sew wig clips into April and get her ready to wear. So let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay. Now, when I sew wig clips into a wig, I use these wig clips now i get these from amazon i get a pack of 50 and they're, if they range from like six pounds up to nine pounds it depends it changes all the time and if you want to see them if you go to my about page on here and you click on my amazon wish list you'll see which ones i use if you want to buy some yourself now every now and again you'll get a couple of dodgy ones in there but you get what you pay for so i just always make sure before i sew them in they're working properly so I'll just give them a little bit of wear and tear. That one's working much better than this one right now. Yeah, that feels a little bit loose. So I won't be putting that one in. Yeah, that one feels much better. So I'm going to sew these two in. So let's take her off then. And we it looks, it hasn't got a root. But it really feels like it has when it's on. You can see it a little bit. And that must be the highlighting through. Because obviously it is chocolate as well as blonde. It's a light chocolate candy blonde. So I think that may be another reason they've sent it to me because obviously it's got, it looks like it's got a root to it because you can see, you know, it's got like that, when I'm looking at it, it definitely hasn't got a root, okay, it definitely hasn't, but because of the colour, it gives it that illusion, if that makes sense. So it it's, it's looks good, it's not like light chocolate, if you check out my review on Pam and light chocolate, you'll see that's a completely different colour, it's a block colour. Whereas this has got highlighting through it. So when I'm sewing wig clips in, I've got my wig clips. And, you know, this may be a bit boring. So you can fast forward to the end if you want to. Or you want to watch me do them. But when you've got your wig clip, it comes with two holes at the top. And then like a, a gold or a silver hole, we're going to sew the top two on either side. And it comes with a rubber at the back. So you put the rubber facing down and you put the teeth facing towards you. So when I sew this one in... I make sure you can tell where the middle of the wig is because, you know, there's usually a line running down or you can kind of, you know, you can use your fingers or, you know, your intuition to guide you where to sew it. So I'm going to sew one at that side and one the other side. So I'm going to put it where I want it. So I want it about there. Now, I've already set up my cotton because I always do because I hate threading needles. So I always set my, cotton, set my cotton up ready for the next wig I sew. So I've got my my cotton ready and my needle ready 
And what we're going to do is I'm going to make sure it's where I want it. And then I'm going to get my needle and thread. And I'm going to go down into a little bit of wig and then up through the first hole. Down into a little bit of wig, up through the first hole, down and up. And that's the first hole done. It's very easy to sew. Then I'm going to go down into a little bit of wig and come up through the second hole. And down and up. And down and up. And that's done. Okay, one side's done. So I'm going to cut it off about there. And then I'm going to set up um, again like this. And, you know, I've done videos on how to sew wig clips in. And I had to train myself and teach myself how to do this by watching YouTube videos. Because, you know, my mum passed away in 2021. And my wig journey started after that. And... Uh, my mum's always done my sewing for me, even though I'm 47 now, you know. My mum used to always sew for me, if I felt like a button come off my jacket or anything like that. So I feel very blessed that she used to do that, but I've had to learn now how to sew. So make sure when you sew your wig clip in, you're holding it secure. Because I've sewn them in before, where I've done them ski with, you know, a bit lopsided, because I've let my finger or my thumb slip off. So I'm just take a moment to make sure you get it in the right place. Because then, you know, it's going to it's gonna last you, you know, it's going to be okay. So I'm just making sure it's in right. So that I get the best effect from this. Yeah, it needs to be there like that. I'm just making sure I get it right. And then I'm going to go down again into a little bit of wig. And up through the first hole. Down and up. And I'll show you this in a moment. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but it's really straightforward. So you kind of go down into a bit of wig. And then you come up through the, the, the second hole here. I always do it three times just to make sure it's secure. And that's the first one done. So it's as easy as that. Now I've got to thread my needle, which takes a while. Especially when I'm on camera. It's like, am I ever going to thread my needle? But, you know, we need to do it to sew April in. So let's do it to get April secure and ready to wear out and about, which I love. And, you know, even when my wig clips are in, you may notice I, I put it on better anyway. Because there's wig clips in it, so it just feels better for me. So the first one is secure it in there, as you can see. Now I'm going to put the other one over the other side. So, and it's always kind of, I don't know why, but when I put two wig clips in, rather than one, I mean, some of my wigs, my shorter wigs, I've got one in. It just feels better because, you know, if you get knocked, if anyone knocks your head, not that they will, well, say if someone gives you a hook and knocks your head, you, you know, one side may lift up a bit more than the other. So if you've got time, you know, it's always worth maybe sewing to it. And I actually, I'm going to do a video about it soon, but I actually went to Alton Towers um, for Scarefest on, you know, not long ago. Let me just thread, that, thread this needle. I can't see what I'm doing. Um, and I wore a wig and I wore a wig that I'm going to be reviewing very soon called Breezy Waves Wig in Cosmic Teal from Rennie of Paris. It's like a bit of a witchy wig. And I've just got two wig clips sewn into that and I went on roller coaster in it and it stayed on. So excited so this is what happens i can't i can never thread my needle a good way of doing it is this if you get a piece of white paper and you put it over and then you can thread your needle i hate threading needles i really do it always takes me ages so it's easy to sew the wig but what's hard is getting your needle in thready i just hate threading needles. i really do Sometimes I have to cut a bit off as well because it'll just the more and more you try and thread it, the more threadbare it becomes, and then it won't go through your needle anyway. Ah, I've done it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was thinking then I'm ever gonna thread this needle. And then I pull it down like this, and then I wrap it around three times, and then I pull it down like that. And you've got your knot in there. And then I just hold the knot and I just use the scissors to take off the bit that I need to take off. And there we go. She's good to go. So we're going to get the other one in. I'm going to sew this one in. So I've got it about right there. So I'm going to go down again. Let me get this right. I'm going to go down into a little bit of wig and come up through the first hole. Another good thing to know as well about natural image wigs is they've always got discount on and sales. You know, they always have. So they had a great sale on not long ago where they had 25% off every lace front wig. 
so that was really good and when that was on i've got a few pieces i'm going to be showing you soon as we move forward and they've got um, a halloween sale on um they had a halloween sale on i'm probably going to be posting this video after halloween though um and that was a the more you spend the more you get money off and i treated myself to another piece because you know when the sales are on as well you've got to snap them up they had an autumn sale on before that on specific wigs they've always got clearance wigs on and you know for audacious for example is 129 pounds i've managed to get that before it in the sale for like 90 i think it's 98 pounds or no 103 pounds i think so i'm just sewing in this wig clip so because this in the same price bracket as audacious and elusive and it's a basic cap i can imagine whenever they have sales on those wigs they'll probably have a sale on april as well so you can probably get this even cheaper than it is even though it's a real bargain buy anyway you know it's really worth it it's an affordable wig which is really good and as i said that's why another reason i really like natural image wigs and another reason why i said yes to doing this review because i am passionate about my channel and the same with guided by angels you know i never do anything with anyone over on guided by angels because it's my baby and this is my baby but because i really respect natural image wigs and wear them that's why i was like oh my goodness yes thank you thank you thank you for sending me a wig but again i'm going to be completely honest with you and tell you the truth so you can see there i've sewn in two wig clips there to secure it in. so i'm excited to get it on with my wig clip so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my earrings off so i can play around a bit more with these side pieces Wow, I've been talking for 46 minutes, amazing. It's amazing how I get so excited about the wigs. I know you can feel that when you, you're watching these videos because you know I'm passionate about wigs and wigs have just changed my life, they really have. And I can't believe I've waited all this time to wear wigs. I just love the, you know, the way you can be blonde one moment and then change it to a red the next or amazing. So let's sew her, in, sew her in. Let's put her on. I'm getting excited again. So front of the wig about there. I'm going to put my head into the wig like I'm putting my head into a bucket. And I'm just tucking in the back. And then I'm grabbing my two ear tabs and aligning them like this. And then I'm pulling her up. Now, I can feel the, the um, wig clips gripping my hair. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't damage my hair. I wear them on every single wig. And I have really since my wig journey began. Once I realised you can sew wig clips into a wig. So I'm just making sure I get it in exactly the right place before I clip it in. So make sure you, your tabs are aligned. They make sure the wig's on straight for you. Especially if you're wearing a little bob like M Brakes, you know, make sure you get it in the right place. Otherwise your wig's a bit ski with there. It'll be a bit lopsided. Now, the first thing I have to say, look how secure she is now I've sewn wig clips in. She feels a hundred times better now I've sewn wig clips in. Because I know now, whenever I do, it's not coming off. It's not coming off. And what I felt with my wig grip band is, especially around here, it was lifting it a little bit. So I felt like you could see my sideburns, my natural hair, my natural kind of brunette hair, my bio hair, a lot more than you can with wig clips in or with nothing in it at all. So as you can see, I'm just making sure all my hair is in as much as possible. But as I said, if I got a red on, if this was paprika root that I'm thinking of getting, I won't have that problem. Just because it's such a striking blonde colour. You know, it's like chocolate candy blonde. So I'm just using my fingers to sort the style out first of all. It's not shedding any hair now, as you can see, because it's had that initial shake out. So don't worry if you get your wig and any wig and you shake it or and the hair comes off, you're thinking, what's going on? It's just what happens, because obviously it's, I suppose it's in a factory being made with other wigs. So... I'm just making sure I'm flattening down my bobble because with it being a short pixie cut, if you make sure your hair's in and it's flat at the back, no one's going to know it's a wig. No one will know this is a wig, you know. I mean, someone may look up close and think, what's going on with her hair there? Just because of the, like I said, it's not a rooted wig and I have to be honest with you. So, you know, if you are thinking of getting a blonde but you've got natural dark hair, this may not be the colour for you. You may want to go for a rooted blonde you know, even though, as I said, it feels like I can see a little bit of root in there, even though there isn't. It's just perhaps, you know, what I'm connecting with, I don't know. But, you know, maybe, you know, you, you want something a bit more like your own natural hair colour. But this is gorgeous. I'm really liking it. So I'm impressed. That's why I'm staying on camera a bit, you know, not going straight off. Because I like sitting with a new wick. 
and I like getting used to the style and how it feels and you know playing around with it and getting it ready because I'll probably wear this for the rest of the day now so you know I don't think I'm going to put embrace back on I think I'm going to wear this one and I like the fact that you can have it like this swept over or you can lift it up or you can flatten it down or and you can plunk it up however you want if you want more volume for me I'm kind of a lady who likes it a bit flatter though but I, I quite like it. Like, I know if I lift it up, obviously, because it hasn't got a lace front, you can see my hairline. But maybe the deluxe one has got a lace front. I should have checked that really, shouldn't I? But um, the deluxe one, it'll, it'll, the cap will be different, or it may have lace up. There'll be something a bit more high-end about it than a basic cap. But I quite like the basic caps in all brands. Like I said, I know that they've bought Sheila wig out and Godiva Secret Wigs and Freedom wig out from Godiva Secret Wigs, both with a lace front. So they've got the basic one and they've got the lace front. And I'm going to still buy the basic cap. And I actually saw a wig review by a wig reviewer with the new Sheila with a lace front. And she compared Sheila with a basic cap and Sheila with a lace front. And I still prefer Sheila with a basic cap. So... It's just something about a basic cap. I think it's the comfort of it as well. So you can see it. How I, this is how I will wear this wig. Let me show you, then I'm going to do another turn. Yeah, when I'm looking in the mirror, you know, just perhaps, I mean, you can bring it forward, as I said, or you can lift it up. But I think this one in a red is going to look fantastic. I really do. Imagine me in this in red. Ooh, paprika root, gorgeous. I mean, it's nice, I've got blonde though, and I will wear this wig. I will wear this wig, but again, I do kind of favour the rooted blondes than the non-rooted blondes. But again, I don't know why, for some reason, I'm seeing a root in there. Let me have a look in the mirror, because obviously the thing that I love about, yeah, even in the mirror, I can see a root. I know there's no root. If there is a root, I don't know, but I'm seeing it. I can definitely see the darkness, and I think that's the chocolate blending there i think the chocolate blending is through it and then it's got like blonde highlights going through because i can actually see a root i think i've just got a splinter in my finger i have yeah just bear with me i had to stop the video there and go and sort it out i just got a splinter it's exciting this is what i'm like i get so excited about these wigs so i've just sorted out. i've got a little splinter i've just got that out off my mirror so i have to change my mirror I don't want that happening again. But it gave me the opportunity to have a look in the mirror. And I just looked in the mirror properly in the light, in the hall and upstairs. And you can't even really tell, you know, when you're looking in the mirror that my bio hair is a different colour. And I really do think it's because this is the light chocolate effect that this wig brings in. So it's really nice. I really do like it. I've just showed it to my boyfriend as well. And he's like, oh, that's nice. You know, he's getting more and more used to me wearing shorter wigs because obviously he never knows what I'm going to be wearing and what I'm going to be like during the day. I could be any colour, I could be any style at any time. So he's kind of just got used to it now. And, you know, if you're thinking of getting a wig like this and maybe you haven't worn a short wig before or maybe it's different than what you normally wear and you think, what will people think? First of all, who cares what people think? As long as you feel confident and you're enjoying what you're doing, that's the most important thing. But obviously the first time someone you know sees you with different hair, they're going to look a little bit, what's going on? Or, you know, the first time I put a wig on and went into my boyfriend, he laughed at me because we laugh at what we don't understand. And that's what he did. And then he was like, he got used to it then. And I didn't really care anyway, but I mean, I could have been offended by that or, you know, took it personally. But I thought, he's just never seen me in a short wig. He's never seen me with different hair than what he knows me as. So it may take a bit of getting used to. But, you know, if you rock the wig and you own the wig, and the more I'm wearing this wig, the more I'm liking this wig. And the more I'm actually thinking, this would be an awesome wig to have in paprika mist or whatever the colour is. Because I know that's a gorgeous red. And I've got that colour already in Josephine wig. And it's gorgeous. Paprika misc. It's really nice. So, And that's also got like a little hint of a darker root in. So I think this is gorgeous. So Natural Image Wigs, thank you so much for gifting me this wig. Obviously my review is my own. And I've told you how it is. And I've spoke the truth. And I absolutely do love it. So I think that, I have to be honest, I do prefer Sheila from Godiva Secret Wigs. But this is then my number two. 
So I'm definitely going to get this in other colours. And it's really amazing as well, you know, how things happen. Because I really have been thinking about getting more shorter wigs. Because with me going through menopause, I get, you know, the, the symptoms. You know, I tend to get more cold flashes than hot flashes. But when they're kind of bobbing back and forth, I don't want hair around me. And it's not even that I'm hot. It's just sometimes I don't want hair around me. And I love all my longer wigs, I really do. But the older I'm getting, the more I'm preferring just having a little shortcut like this. And it's so amazing because, you know, you your hair's a mess. You throw a wig on. You look a million dollars. I've got to be careful with this. Um, this now, I've just got a splintering off this. So I need to be a bit more careful when I'm using this. But I love the fact that, you know, it's like you've been the hairdresser and had a little funky cut and a colour without doing anything at all. So if you want a little short wig on, gorgeous. So think about April from Natural Image Wigs. As I said, the link is in the description box. If you like the, the wig at the beginning, this colour is Chocolate Copper Mist. Paprika Mist is a little bit different than this, but this will kind of be, imagine me, with this kind of colour in this wig. Fabulous. And if you want to see what I look like in a little short pixie in a red, you can check out Sheila from Good Irish Secret Wigs as well. But as I said, I've got loads of natural image wigs. If you're going on their website and having a look around and you're thinking, oh, I love Embrace or I love Tease or I love Josephine or Lucy or Audacious or Fantasy or Glow Getter, you know, you can check all those out. I've got another thing, it's Chance as well I've got. But if you have a look in my wig reviews playlist, you'll see them. And I always put on the, on the thumbnail... A picture of me in the wig like this, and then I write what the wig is. So you can find them straight away. So the gorgeous April wig from Natural Image Wigs in this amazing colour I've never tried before. Light chocolate candy blonde, amazing. So let me know what you think in the comments section. Have a great day. Another big shout out to Natural Image Wigs for sending me this wig. And I'll see you soon.